Hi guys, it's Wayne McMaster here. Today I'm going to do a quick video for you. It's actually a bit of an update on a video I've done very recently showing you how to create multi-page WordPress posts. Now, like I said before, I don't necessarily recommend this, but sometimes if you have a really long post or you just want to break it up into multiple pages, this is a very handy way of doing it. Now, in the past, you had to either uh, sort of code it in or you know alter a bit of code, but what you can do with Gutenberg now is simply add it in as you're editing. So uh, I've got the Divi install. I'm going to go to the default editor, which is the new block editor. I'm going to add in multi-page post. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a bit of text. So I'm going to say, this is my first page. Welcome. And then I'm going to add in some lovely placeholder text. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to add underneath here another block. I'm going to type in page break and add that in. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to continue typing. So maybe I'll have some more of this lovely text. Add a paragraph and I'll go page two. Whoops. Actually, we'll add in there page two. And I'm going to move this under the page break. Then maybe I want to say, well, what's on page three? Add another page break in there. I'll type that in page break. Paragraph. Now you don't have to go in and actually click paragraph every time. You can simply hit enter and go more. So all we're doing is adding page breaks. Now these page breaks are actually where the page will split up. So I've got one post here. But if I go ahead and preview this post, you see here I've got my, this is my first page. Welcome, placeholder text. If I click page two, I now have page two. What's on page three? So now we've got our multiple pages. So it's that simple. Now, obviously, you may still want to use the classic editor. If you are using this classic editor on WordPress store, I do have a video that shows you how to do this using that old editor, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. Otherwise, I just wanted to update this video just in case it is something you were using, but now you've updated and it's become useless. So this is how you can do that using the new WordPress editor. So I hope you found that video useful. If you do want more videos like this about WordPress or growing your blog, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Otherwise, we'll see you again soon. Thanks.